Welcome to the Hamilton Atelier. In today's video, we will teach you how to measure and calculate using your converter watch. Let's get started. Multiplication. Find the number you want to multiply on the bezel, orange arrow. Rotate it to number 10, red color, on the flange, white arrow. Now look for the number on the flange which you want to multiply, red arrow, with your selected number. The result can be found on the bezel, green arrow. Please note, depending on the numbers used in the calculations, the results can be read in simplified terms. Division The number on the bezel, orange arrow, is divided by the aligned number on the flange, white arrow. The result is found on the red 10 on the flange, green arrow. Converting kilometers to nautical miles Align knot for nautical miles, orange arrow on the bezel, with km on the flange, white arrow. The flange shows the kilometers, red arrow, and the bezel shows the corresponding miles, green arrow. Converting kilometers to statute miles. Align stat for statute miles, orange arrow on the bezel, with km on the flange, white arrow. The flange shows the kilometers, red arrow, and the bezel shows the corresponding miles, green arrow. Converting currencies. Converting currencies is basically the same conversion principle as multiplication. In this example, you would like to convert Swiss francs into euros. The exchange rate is 1.2 Swiss francs per 1 euro. To do this, turn the bezel A to align the exchange rate, in this case number 12 for 1.2 Swiss francs, orange arrow, with the index 10 on the flange, white arrow. The result, green arrow, appears opposite any number indicated on the bezel, red arrow. Ground speed. In this example, a pilot travels 112 miles in 28 minutes. What is his ground speed? To calculate his average ground speed, turn the bezel A to align with 28 minutes, orange arrow, with 112 miles on the flange, white arrow. The result, 240 miles per hour, green arrow, appears opposite MPH indicated on the bezel, red arrow. You can also instantly convert the speed to miles per minute by reading the number green arrow opposite index 10 on the bezel, red arrow, in this case, 4 miles per minute. Please note the values shown in miles can be replaced with kilometers, km or knots. Distance traveled. In this example, a pilot wishes to calculate the distance he will travel in 25 minutes at a speed of 156 miles per hour. To calculate the distance traveled, turn the bezel A to align the MPH index, orange arrow, with the speed 15.6 on the flange, white arrow. The result, 65 miles, green arrow, appears opposite 25 minutes indicated on the bezel, red arrow. Please note the values shown in miles can be replaced with kilometers, km. Fuel consumption per 100 kilometers. In this example, 55 liters of fuel were required to travel 800 kilometers. To calculate a vehicle's fuel consumption in liters per 100 kilometers, Turn the bezel A to align the 55 liters consumed orange arrow with the 800 kilometers traveled on the flange white arrow. The result, 6.9 liters for 100 kilometers, green arrow, appears opposite index 10 on the flange red arrow. Please note the values shown in miles can be replaced with kilometers, km. Calculating short time spans. In this example, the pilot is on approach to the airport at a ground speed of 190 miles per hour. Given that the VOR beacon is located 1.5 miles ahead of the start of the runway, he wishes to know how many seconds there are between the beacon and the runway. To calculate this short time span, turn the bezel A to align the speed 190 miles per hour, 19, orange arrow, with index 36 on the flange, white arrow. The result, 28.5 seconds, green arrow, appears opposite the distance 1.5 miles, 15, indicated on the bezel, red arrow. Please note the values shown in miles can be replaced with kilometers, km. Converting volumes, weights and lengths. Liters in US gallons or vice versa. Align liters on the flange, white arrow, and gal, orange arrow on the bezel. On the flange you can now read the liters, red arrow, and opposite on the bezel you will find the corresponding number of US gallons, green arrow. Kilograms in US pounds or vice versa. 
Align KG on the flange, white arrow, and LBS, US pounds on the bezel, orange arrow. On the flange, you can now read the kilograms, red arrow, and opposite on the bezel, you will find the corresponding number of US pounds, green arrow. Meters in feet, or vice versa. Align meters on the flange, white arrow, and FT, feet on the bezel, orange arrow. You can now read the meters on the flange, red arrow, and the corresponding number of feet on the bezel, green arrow. That's it, you're all set. You can come back to any chapters to review the converting functionality in details. Thanks for watching.